So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my early Team of the Week 10 prediction. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. So yeah, we have made it Team of the Week 10. It feels like the past two months have absolutely flown by, which is kind of surprising considering the amount of stress this game does indeed cause. Anyway, we're not here to focus on that. And we're obviously here to look at the upcoming Team of the Week. You guys know how this series works by now. In this video, we take a look at all the results from the top five leagues from the past 48 hours to get you know a bit of a feel for what the upcoming team of the week could be look at uh, could be looking like and also just to you know see if like weekend league is worth playing or not i feel like most people watch this video for that exact reason i know some people watch it for trading also but i get the feeling that most people just want to see if weekend league is worth the extra few games of sweatiness if that makes sense it did in my head um anyway if you could leave like rating on this video that'd be very much appreciated and as always be active in the comments let me know who you think will pick an up and inform this week and I am all over the place with my speech this week I don't know what is going on and before we get into things of course don't forget to join the discord there's a link to do so in the description pretty much um, I post my team the week notes in there early so there is a pet to join but also we're just trying to build a community as well of people who just enjoy talking about FIFA and football so uh, if that's something that interests you then I uh, click the link in the description and uh, you know just join little cheeky plug right there let's move on okay so now all that's out the way let's jump into things we will begin as we do in the Premier League with one of Friday matches we have Crystal Palace at home to Newcastle and Newcastle got the business done they won this game 2-0 thanks to goals from Joelinton and also Callum Wilson goal and assist for both of them so uh, there is certainly options there but Wilson's already got an inform Joelinton doesn't and he has a one to watch so I think he is going to be the favoured pick so could we finally see a boost for uh, his one to watch I've just realised what I've just said um, Joe Linton doesn't have a one to watch this year. He had one last year. So, um, yeah, ignore that comment completely. Could we see an informed Joe Linton this week? Because we definitely won't be seeing an upgrade for his one to watch, which obviously doesn't exist in uh, FIFA 21. I bet a bunch of you are already commenting about that. Yep, don't worry. I've corrected myself. I know. I'm an idiot. We move on to Rio Valladolid against Levante. And, yeah, there's not too much to discuss here. The game ended in a 1-1 draw. And no inform is coming from that matchup. One game which may produce an inform, though, is the match between Wolfsburg and Werder Bremen. Ended in a 5-3 scoreline. Pretty big. And it was goals from pretty much all over the place. Two of Wolfsburg's uh, defenders got on the score sheet. Um, Brooks actually scored in both nets, which is... You know, pretty interesting, but uh, Veghorst would be the standout in this game for his two goals. So depending on his kicker rating, he could be getting an inform this week. And to be honest, it's probably a bit overdue. He's had a couple of good performances this year where he hasn't got an inform. So maybe this could be the week if there aren't too many strikers with hat tricks. And then the final Friday game to discuss is the game between Strasbourg and Stad René, which ended in a 1-1 draw. And as you can see, there's not too much to discuss here. Unless one of these players gets a big rating from the keep, they're not getting an inform and... Yeah, I don't think that's likely, to be honest. Okay, so now let's move on to Saturday's fixtures, and we're going to begin in the Bundesliga, and we start off with a fairly shock result. Dortmund were at home to Cologne, and, uh, yeah, the away side got the win, and I believe this was, like, their first win in 17 or 18 matches as well, so, um, yeah, very, very big victory for them, and uh, I feel pretty confident in saying it will produce an inform. And Shkiri, the midfielder, scored twice, both the goals, and um, he seems like a no-brainer to me, so, uh, yeah, I feel like he'll be in, and I do feel like he'll be in my full prediction which comes out tomorrow so uh, look out for him in your red picks on Thursday as well because I'm sure he's going to be in all of them. Abby Leipzig won two goals to one and in this game Angelino got himself on the score sheet again this year. He's actually been involved in quite a few goals this year whether it be um, you know actually scoring them himself or setting them up. Could this week finally be the week that he gets into team of the week? I guess we'll see on Wednesday but um, as things stand I think he's got a pretty good chance. The Union Berlin and Eintracht Frankfurt game was set Certainly a good one. Three goals each and, um, yeah, plenty of action at both ends. Um, Frankfurt would probably be the favourite to pick up the inform. Probably someone like Andres Silva who got two goals. Uh, Kamada got two assists. But um, with the game ending as a draw, I think it's unlikely that either side picks up an inform this week. Unless one of them players in particular gets a big rating from kicker or if one of them gets the kicker team, uh, not sorry, team uh, player of the week. Auschberg and Freiberg ended in a one or draw and it's one of them draws which, you know, there isn't really too much to discuss so let's just move on quickly. Bayern Munich were away from home against Stuttgart and uh, as you can see Kingsley Kerman got himself a goal and a assist and he looks to be the standout candidate from this game so he could be picking up an inform this week and let me tell you something, we definitely need more special French left wingers in Ultimate Team so this one will be a pretty welcomed addition I'm sure. We have so many of them already in Ultimate Team, we could really do 
with a uh, you know a special um, French right winger. But um, hopefully that'll come at some point in the near future. The final game in the Bundesliga to discuss from Saturday was between Borussia Mönchengladbach and Schalke, and uh, as you can see, the home side got the job done in convincing fashion. Schalke are really struggling this season, and uh, Neuhaus got himself a goal and a assist from midfield, and I feel like he is the front runner from this game. Now we move over to the games in the Premier League, and we start with one that was pretty much filled with controversy, and then afterwards there was an absolutely brilliant interview with Klopp, which if you haven't seen it, um, is definitely worth a watch. The BT spot interview and cop going at it and um, yeah discussing some interesting points but obviously we're not here to discuss that we're here to discuss whether an inform will come from this game and ultimately the answer is probably not so uh yeah there is that but still um a pretty entertaining game to watch nonetheless because of pretty much everything that was going on now we come on to a game between manchester city and burnley and uh, this is a game or you know a potential inform that's probably going to cause a bit of discussion you know what I'm going to say, Mara's hat-trick was in Team of the Week 8, therefore cannot be in Team of the Week number 10. I know there's going to be people in the comments going, Kieran, Mara's can get an inform because I've seen so-and-so get one in X weeks and X weeks. Yeah, in old FIFA's you have. This year, you haven't seen it. Mara's won't get an inform this week. I'm saying that right now. If he does, I'll be absolutely shocked. We've seen Lewandowski ignored for a hat-trick. We've seen Lozano ignored for an 8 on the Gazetta um, due to the gaps between informs. Um, yeah, Mara's isn't getting an inform this week. And also, hello to Flair's stream, who uh, I'm sure are watching this at some point as well. So, uh, no inform for Mara's this week. So, the next best option from this game is either KDB, who got two assists, or um, Mendy, who got himself a goal and a clean sheet from left back. I don't think they'll go for Torres, but they could because he is obviously still an option. But um, as I say, I think the front runners for the inform from this game are KDB and Mendy. So look out for them. And uh, as I say, I can't wait to read the comments of you know that small percentage who think Mares will be getting an inform this week. But um, he, he won't. I'm, I'm pretty sure he won't. The third game in the Premier League on Saturday was between Everton and Leeds. And for a game that was quite low scoring, it was actually quite an entertaining game to watch like I don't know what leads are currently eating or drinking the players because they just seem to have insane amounts of energy it's, it's kind of mad I don't know if they can keep this up in the Premier League I really don't especially with the schedule but um I guess we'll see but uh nonetheless they got the job done in this game 1-0 win thanks to a late goal from Rafinha so he's an option for the inform as is the goalkeeper who made eight saves in this game and kept a clean sheet he is definitely an option and if he was a gold player to be honest he would probably be my pick from this game but he's a silver therefore I'm looking for alternatives and I think Calvin Phillips could be the one that gets the inform from this game because he got man of the match from this fixture. I know he didn't get the highest rating on this website, but um, EA don't really go off this website for ratings. But um, yeah, Calvin Phillips was the man of the match, so uh, he could be picking up an inform this week. If he doesn't get it, obviously the goalkeeper will be an option, but it depends on who and how many goalkeeper options we have for Team of the Week number 10, which I'll discuss more in depth in tomorrow's full prediction video. West Brom beat Sheffield United 1-0 in the final Premier League game on Saturday, and it's their goalkeeper who I am favouring to pick up a special item. Um, Johnston made five saves and kept the queen sheet in this match. It's now time to discuss some of the games in La Liga and um, I won't lie there actually isn't too much to discuss this week because uh, there haven't been too many goals in many of the games so uh, yeah let's do this. It's going to be slim pickings for our La Liga options. Um, Elche and Cadiz ended in a one all draw and I think you can tell from this that uh, there isn't too much to discuss so let's just move on to the next game which was Valencia against Atletico Madrid. Uh, the only goal in this game was an own goal so uh, once again it's hard to pick a standout from this game maybe one of the defensive options who've pick up, uh, picked up sorry and uh, some decent ratings could get in but uh as things stand, I wouldn't feel confident picking out any of them. And then we have Huesca against Sevilla, which ended in a 1-0 scoreline, thanks to a goal from um, N. Nesri. Um, so, yeah, it's another low-scoring game with, you know, not too many standouts. So, uh, unfortunately, like I said, La Liga options this week are looking pretty thin. So we're going to need some uh, big goal-scoring games coming from this league tomorrow. There is a potential inform coming from the Real Madrid Deportivo game, and that inform could go to the goalkeeper Pacheco, who made seven saves in this game. Now, unfortunately, didn't keep a clean sheet. Real Madrid did score late on, but um, still, seven saves and a big win against Madrid. That could be enough to see him pick up a second inform this week. This game, by the way, has ended, but um, this website just hasn't updated for whatever reason. Over in the Serie A, Sassuolo were at home to Inter Milan and uh, Inter Milan claimed the three points by scoring three goals with them goals coming from Sanchez, Gagliadini and the other was an own goal. There seems to be 
you know, quite a lot of own goal scored this past weekend. It's kind of strange. Anyway, Sanchez got on the score sheet, as did Gagliardini. And looking at the early Gazetta ratings, it looks like Gagliardini is going to be getting the man of the match from this game. So he will be a midfield option for team of the week number 10. The second game in the Serie A to be played on Saturday was between Juve and Benevento and the home side actually picked up a pretty big point and the right back um, Letizia got himself a goal and also a decent match rated from Gazetta so there is a chance, albeit slim, that he could pick up an inform this week and to be honest this could actually be quite a nice inform if it was to happen. Um, he's originally a left back I believe so um, this would be a position change inform also it would just be a pacey Italian uh, right back option so it would actually be quite nice for the game but as I say with his team not actually winning the match I don't think it's too likely this inform happens but it is of course an option worth noting. In the final game in the Serie A on Saturday, Atalanta got beat by Hellas Verona. So, uh, yeah, pretty big result for the away side, to be honest. And there, uh, Veloso got himself a goal and a assist in this game. The goal was a penalty, but, um, yeah, involvement in two goals is pretty big, to be honest. And depending on his Gazetta rating, maybe he could get in. So, guys, there you have it. That is my early look at the upcoming team of the week. And I think it's fair to say it's not looking like a great one. So, um, yeah, we could definitely do some high scoring games um, on Sunday so uh, yeah let's let's all hope for that anyway if you could leave like rating on this video that'd be very much appreciated in the comments below be sure to be active and do look out for my full team of the week 10 prediction which will come out of course tomorrow around the same time that this video was uploaded so uh, yeah subscribe to the channel if you're new and that'll come up in your feed thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next one